Okay, I'm going to show you a really blasphemous heresy the Catholic Church teaches about Mary in their catechism. So I'm going to read from the Catholic Church Catechism, paragraph 969, paragraph 969. So the Catholic Catechism says that Mary brings eternal life. Check this out. So this is from Catholic Church Catechism, paragraph 969. The motherhood of Mary in the order of grace continues uninterruptedly from the consent which she loyally gave at the Annunciation and which she sustained without uh, wavering beneath the cross until the eternal fulfillment of all the elect take up to heaven she did not lay aside this saving office but by her ma by her manifold intercession continues to bring us the gifts of eternal salvation therefore the blessed virgin is evoked in the church under the titles of advocate helper bene benefact benefactress and mediatrix so they're saying that mary brings you the gifts of eternal life and she's our advocate and our helper um doesn't first john chapter 2 verses 1 to 2 say that jesus christ is our advocate where does it say that Mary is our advocate? No, Jesus Christ is our advocate, according to 1 John chapter 2, verses 1 to 2. What about this thing of eternal life? Does Mary bring us eternal life? Let's see from the scriptures. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Eternal life is through Jesus Christ, not Mary. Romans chapter 5 and verse 15. But not as the offense, so also is the free gift. For if the offense of one many be dead, much more the grace of God and the gift by grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ, hath abounded unto many. So the free gift of salvation, the free gift of grace, according to Romans 5.15, does call it a free gift, is through Jesus Christ, not Mary. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 to 9. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Salvation is a free gift given by God. Jesus Christ is God, after all. It's not by Mary. Mary does not give you the gift of eternal life, the eternal gifts of salvation. That's blasphemy. See, they're making Mary into a goddess. See, Catholics can say, oh, we don't worship Mary, we don't worship Mary. They worship Mary. They're saying she gives the gifts of eternal life. That's essentially what they're saying. Uh, it says, by her uh, manifold, manifold intercession, it continues to bring us the gifts of eternal salvation. So they're saying she brings eternal salvation. That's blasphemy. Roman Catholicism is blasphemy in the eyes of God. Roman Catholicism is pagan, Babylonian, Roman, Greek religion repackaged. It is not the faith once delivered unto the saints. It is a pagan, abominable pagan perversion of Bible-believing Christianity. Roman Catholics don't believe the Bible. Otherwise, they won't be teaching such, such blasphemy like this, that Mary brings us eternal life, the gifts of eternal life. No, Jesus Christ brings us the gift, the free gift of salvation. That's how it goes, not Mary. Mary was a great woman. She was greatly used by God. But she's not some kind of goddess or the co-mediator, that kind of stuff. No, there's one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. That's 1 Timothy 2.5. There's no, there's no co-mediator. Roman Catholicism is blasphemy. Roman Catholicism is a pagan, abominable perversion of the faith, the Christian faith. So don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. It is blasphemous. It is heretical. Don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.